Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Y'all kick off the shoes and you set a spell, all right? Now here's your host for the show, that old Kentucky boy himself, Mr. Bob Snap. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. I uh, appreciate you being here. Um, today's video is on uh, if you, uh, where the voice of Jethreen came from. Uh, it might surprise you. Let's take a look. The television world of Paul Henning stretched from the Appalachian Mountains to the Hollywood Hills. Sitcom creator struck gold three times with his beloved, the Beverly Hillbillies, Petticoat Junction, and Green Acres. That trio of smash shows uh, delivered dozens of memorable characters, many of which cross over from series to series. Henning's Anything Goes brand of homespun comedy included a menagerie of clever animals like Dog and uh, Arnold, not to mention actors switching roles. B. Benedict played both cousin Pearl Bodine on the Beverly Hillbillies and Kate Bradley on Petticoat Junction. But no role hopping was quite so silly as Max Bear portraying both Jethro and his twin sister Jethreen. Jethreen, as you are called, was simply Max Bear Jr. dressed up to look somewhat like a little Bo Peep, slipped into curly blonde wig and floral dress and hammed it up. The joke was made complete with Jethreen's feminine voice, which was clearly not dubbed by Bear. Henning hired his daughter Linda K. Henning to give Jethreen her voice. At the time in 1962, Linda K. had just one credit to her name a bit role in a single episode of Mr. Ed, which aired earlier that year. Uh, she would voice Jethreen in 11 episodes throughout the first season of The Beverly Hillbillies. In 1963, Linda Kay's collaboration with her dad leaped to a new level when she joined the cast of Betty Coat Junction as Betty Jo, the redhead in the trio of Bradley Daughters. Betty Jo played a significant role in the series. She was the one who discovered Dog at the Start of uh, season two, and later after a major ongoing romance, she would marry crop duster Steve Elliott, played by Mike Miner. Henning would go on to appear in more episodes of the series than any other actress, appearing in all but three. Not to mention, she would marry Miner in real life. Alas, despite all the crossovers, Betty Jo and Jethreen never shared screen time. Jethreen disappeared in 1963, just as Betty Jo first popped her head out of the water tower. And there you go. I think some of you already knew this probably, but I thought it was very interesting. Um, and I just like all the crossovers as well. Please don't forget classic sitcoms, facts, and trivia. If you have not been over there yet, uh, take a look down in the description below. The link will be down there. If you have a problem with that, leave me a uh, comment and I'll send you the link by itself. Have a great day. God bless. We're praying for you.